Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments are for Mary. And uh, let's take a look at your situation. So uh, you say you have a doubt and you've given me three different types of writing prompts and your question is how do you organize your writing with each one? Okay, so the first one is you say uh, compare the contributions of artists to society with the contributions of scientists to society which type of contribution do you think is valued more by society? Give specific reasons to support your answer. Now, if you've done this practice test on my website, you can take a look at the model essay, and that'll show you a great way to organize your writing. But here's what you want to do. Uh, in the second paragraph, you probably want to talk about the value of artists in our society. And then in the third paragraph, talk about the value of scientists in our society. And then in the fourth paragraph, you can talk about which of the two are more valued by our society. That means you can either talk about the artist or the scientist as contributing more to society. So that would probably be the most logical way to organize uh, your essay based on that question. You have a good question because... If you're not organizing according to the writing task, you know, you're, you're, you're going to have a lot of trouble. You're not going to score high on the TOEFL. Um, now, I think in the first paragraph of this particular uh, writing prompt, uh, I wouldn't worry as much about giving my opinion, but you can just simply, you can compare the two artists in terms of maybe technology or something. And then you can talk about how you think the artist is important to uh, technology and society. And then you can com compare that with how the scientists are uh, in important to technology in our society. Now, the other thing, too, is when it says compare, and it doesn't say compare and contrast, compare also implies contrast. So if you think both of them have similarities, you can discuss the similarities. If you think they're different, you know, you can feel free to discuss how the one is different from the other. So if you answer it either way, I think you'll be fine. So you say in the, your next type of writing task, you say in other types of questions, a writing task asks for comparing and contrasting, which is essentially the same thing. So if you're comparing, I guess you have the freedom to show similarities or differences, maybe if it says compare and contrast, you want to make sure you, you exactly discuss the similarities and maybe the differences. Explicitly do both of those. Okay, in the third one, you say, do you agree with the idea that artists con contribute more <laughs> to society than politicians? Explain the reasons. So this one... Uh, if it says artists contribute more to society, I would either agree or disagree with it. And in that case, I wouldn't do a compare and contrast essay. You're going to say either you agree or you don't agree, and then present maybe three reasons why you agree or disagree. And then each reason becomes the key point of body paragraphs two, three, and four. Then you have your conclusion. You're looking at, I think there, paragraph five. So your final question here is, what structure, uh, you want to say here, what structure should I follow? Should I compare and contrast in all of them and give my own opinion? Um, I would say, in the first one, like I said before, you can compare and show similarities only, or you can show similarities and differences. And yes, you must give your opinion here because the question is asking you for that. Now, if the question simply asks to compare and contrast and it does not ask for your own opinion, then you should talk about how the two things are similar and different and you don't have to worry about giving your opinion unless you are asked to give your opinion. If we go back to the third one, do you agree or disagree? I don't think you have to worry about comparing and contrasting the two I would simply say I agree or disagree that artists contribute more to society. So then you would say the first reason why I think artists contribute more 
to the society than politicians is, or another reason artists are more important than politicians is, and the final reason I think that artists are more important to politicians uh, is. So that might be your, your possible way of organizing that. All right, Mary, so there are my answers to your questions. I hope that gives you a general idea of, of what's going on. It looks like you're a pretty good thinker and you kind of are pretty serious about what you're doing with your writing. So, uh, And I do give you, you know in my independent writing practice test, I do have a variety of different kinds of questions. And remember that you can always see a sample model response once your practice test has been scored you can go back to my website and read the model essay.